Michelle from Fig joining us. Simon, of all uh, asset classes, the bond space has been, you have to say, the best barometer on uh, weighing uh, every utterance and putting it into some kind of context by which we now say what for June? Good afternoon, Carson. And yes, you're absolutely right. And that was reflected in a fairly mooted reaction by bond markets, not a real uh, movement in yields. And that's because we're really sticking to that June tightening and uh, the market sees that at 80%. Uh, I think what the you know, market's doing is, is, is listening to the Fed when they say, look, you know, we know that inflation's pulling back a little bit. We know we've had some softer growth. <laughs> But we're happy with labour uh, and employment markets and we're going to go that June uh, tightening and then we'll see what happens after that. If you have a look at the yield curve though, certainly not moving up uh, in the long end, um, in the 10 and the 30 years, so certainly not buying into any movement in uh, higher growth levels for example. And we haven't even got on to debating when the next hike will be after that because in some ways that could be even more significant than this one. But Simon, had to call it a day on that measure. We'll get you back, of course, soon. Thank you as always, Simon and Michelle from FIG. We must